All right, these are um, uh, some baby tilapia. They've just come out of their mother's mouth, and here's uh, mom and now defending them. Uh, these are uh, blue tilapia mixed with uh, Nile tilapia, kind of this um, mixed breed. And there, the female, the mama, is protecting her babies. And if you see small fish going in her mouth, that's just because she's trying to get them back in there. You see, this uh, mama carries the babies in her mouth until they've uh, completely uh, hatched or absorbed their egg sacs. That's about 10 days, and then they come out. But this is probably the largest brood I've seen at one time because we have all these babies. And then, look at all these over here. There are several hundred. Now, mom has been trying frantically for the last half hour to swallow these babies back in her mouth. Not to swallow them in her stomach, but just to bring them into safety. And there's just too many. And here she is. Okay, these, all these fish here are females, except for the really large one. He's right there. Okay, that's daddy. And there are a total of five females in here, but only one of them is the mother today. Now, yesterday, another fish was being very territorial and assertive, quite aggressive, and today it's this one's turn. Now the fish this, uh, that were there last night, there were about 50 of them, so that was from a small female. Um, this morning they were gone, and today I noticed this right here. Okay, so there's the female. Now. I've consolidated all my tilapia in the garage into one big tank, so I have a couple hundred out there ranging from uh, maybe a, uh, three quarters of an inch in length to about one pound. And I'm lo studying them to see if they will uh, cannibalize each other or if they can actually coexist. I don't really have the capacity to, to salvage even more babies here. Okay, so I'll leave the babies here and uh, allow the uh, the tilapia then just to go ahead and eat them. I haven't read anything negative about that, but in the, uh, the animal kingdom that's what happens. When the babies get loose, other fish will in fact eat them. Okay, here's the uh, the little motel. You've seen this. this is pretty standard out on YouTube and on the internet. It gives a place for the fish to come to get away uh, from each other and from the male. Um, a be the behavior is sort of controlled now because, believe it or not, these lights act as a defensive barrier against these fish. These tilapia don't like to come out in the light. Okay, so let's do an experiment. I'm going to turn off this top light and let's just see what happens here. Let's see if we get a little bit more activity back there. Okay, just to see if they prove this right or wrong. So there, on the back, there's a bunch of babies. I'm sorry for the lighting, but look at that. See, these babies are being eaten right here. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mom is back here, is trying her best to bring the babies back into her mouth. So the fish came out, they're eating, they're going after the babies. Now if I turn on the light, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, so that one went back down. So you can cover. Okay, so right now if you have a bunch of babies in a tank and you want to keep them alive, then do two things. Put in fish pellets, as I have here and keep the lights on. I don't know how long this will last, but this is quite amazing. Uh, the reason for bringing the tilapia into the 55 gallon tank a few days ago is I've been using those IDC containers and 
uh, IBC containers and uh, they're opaque and you can't see these fish from the side so I've only seen the tilapia from the top view but now I've got them from the, uh, the side and it's very very interesting what you can learn about these fish You know, I could try to salvage these fish and rescue them and put them in a tank outside, but in a few more weeks I'd have another batch of several hundred. And to raise uh, a tilapia to weigh one pound, you need to feed it about one and a quarter pounds of food. And it is very costly, having thousands of tilapia. Not counting or considering the fact that you have a tank with a lot of pumps and clean water. So. A friend told me that tilapia are the cockroaches of the fish world. <laughs> they just multiply. I believe that. Okay, well, I'll just stop talking and just give it a little bit more footage here.